Welcome back to Create Your Best Sound. If you are here at this video, that means that you have successfully performed all of the other skills from the previous videos. If you have not, please go back and watch them. And once you are able to do all of those skills, then come back to this video. But if you're ready to be here, then congratulations because we're about to learn your first song hot cross buns. The great thing about hot cross buns is that it only has three different notes. So it's a great beginner song to learn. I'm going to teach you two different versions today, a lower version and then a higher version. Pick whichever one feels the most comfortable for you based off of what we did in the last video, whether you were better at the lower notes or the higher notes. We're going to start with the lower note version. The first note we're going to play is E. That's the note we're going to start on. As a refresher, it sounds like this. That's going to be our first note. Our next note is going to be D. For D, we push down the first valve. All you have to do to play a D is play E and then push the first valve down and it becomes a D. Sounds like this. Try it with me. One, two, three. Good. Now, I am going to turn on a metronome. A metronome keeps a steady beat for us in the background. I have mine turned to 56 beats per minute. So on your metronome at home, if you have one, when you're practicing without this video, you can start it at that speed. We're going to hold our E for two clicks and then immediately go to our D for two clicks. Sounds like this. One, two, here I go. Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. This time, we are going to tongue both notes. Tongue the E and then tongue the D as well, but all in one breath. One, two, three. Try again. One, two, Three. Now all we need to add to finish off this first part is a C on the bottom. So you know the D lives right below the first line of the treble clef staff when you're reading it on the music. So we're going E, D, C, all for two beats. From now on in this video, I'm going to play everything for you one time, and then the second time, you play along with me. If you need to, please go back at any point in this video, rewind so you can try it again and again and again if you need to until you get it right. So E for two clicks, D for two clicks, C for two clicks. Listen first, and then play along with me. One, two, three. Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. If you need to, back up the video so you can try that again. If you're ready to go on, then let's go. The great thing about this song is it's very repetitive. So we've played each note for two beats, then we rest for two beats, which means we don't play, we just count for two beats, and then we do exactly that same thing one more time. Listen first, then play along. One, two, three. <laughs>
check your hand position, make sure it's what it needs to be and that it's in the correct place in the bell. Here we go. One, two, three. The great thing about this piece too is that we get to use the rests to take a big breath before we play our next part. Great. Those three notes happen one more time at the very end of the song. So now all we need to learn is the middle. This time we're going to start on our low note C. We're going to play it four times. But instead of playing it for two clicks each, it's only going to get one click each. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three. <laughs> four C's, we play four D's in a row. Again, one click each. First valve for D. So four C's, then four D's. Listen first, then play along. One, two, three. <laughs> just play our E, D, C one more time at the end. You've now learned everything you need to put the whole song together. Listen to it once and then play along with me. One, two, three. <laughs> to try with me. Here we go. Instrument up. Your heels on the chair if it needs to be, otherwise your feet are on flat on the floor. You've got a great hand position. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> as many times as you need to to practice that over and over again. Now I'm going to teach you the higher version of the song. This is the version you should do if in the previous video the higher notes were coming out for you better than the lower notes. It's the same rhythm or the number of beats per note that we just learned but it's all going to sound a little higher. This time we're going to start on G. Open G for two beats. Then the next note we play is F. On the treble clef staff, F lives on the first space or in between the first two lines. And we play F with first valve just like we did D. Then after F, instead of an open note like in the first version, it is a second valve note. This note is called E flat. It's not a regular E, it needs to sound a little bit lower than E. So we can't play it open like our regular E, we have to play it a little bit differently, so we play second valve. 
E flat lives on the same line on the treble clef staff as E does. It just has a special symbol in front of it to let us know that it's a little bit lower and we need to play it with second valve instead of open. Remember, two beats per each note to start. So two beats on G, two beats on F, two beats on E flat. Listen once, then play along. One, two, three. Try it with me. One, two, ready? Good. And remember, we have to do that two times through. And then we learn the middle part. This time, we play our E flat second valve four times, one click each. One, two, three. Try it with me. One, two, three. play our F four times, one click each. So together it's four E flats, second vowel, and then four F's, first vowel. We'll listen once and then play along. One, two, three. started. Two beats of G, two beats of F, two beats of E flat. You're ready to play the whole thing once you have all of those parts down. Remember, back up the video as many times as you need to to practice those parts over and over again until they're ready. Once you're ready, you get to play the whole song. Listen once, then try with me the second time. One, two, three. <laughs> the two different versions of hot cross buns. When you're practicing these, start with the one that was the easiest for you and make sure you get that one down as perfectly as you can. Make sure that you're taking good breaths during all of your rests, that your corners are firm and your chin is flat, you've got the mouthpiece in the right place, and especially make sure that you can really feel the tip of your tongue working at the beginning of all of those notes. Remember our t -t 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 from the previous video. Once you've mastered the one that's easiest for you, whether it was the high one or the low one, then go to the other one and learn that one. It's important that we work on things that are difficult for us too so that we can master those. Thank you so much for joining in and learning Hot Cross Buns with me today. Keep practicing, keep going back and watching these videos as many times as you need until you can master these skills and you're going to go very, very far. I wish you the best of luck.